Hey guys, I got something to show you. Looky there, looky there. Red dog season is here. Hey guys, Dusty Baker across Thermos Bison. Welcome back to the channel. Two videos ago, uh, we went through one of my favorite things, which is letting the bison out, which is letting the big Joe herd out in this pasture. And a week later, right over there. Yes, it's our first red dog of 2022, and it's the first red dog born on the Ponderosa. Can't wait to uh, show some cool footage. I just missed it and I mean close I got some great footage of the 54 cow the mama cow here one of our Texas cows that we have a big Joe eating the afterbirth um, I've been doing this for four years and I know a lot of bison producers probably say yeah I've seen this before I've, I've watched it but this is the first time I've actually seen the cow eat her afterbirth that's how close I missed this baby being born so let's go check the baby out What's up, Big Joe? Oh, the baby. That is the baby. That's right, Brooks. Looky here, looky here. Look at that. Are they red dog? Red dog. Good job. <laughs> oh, man. I think it's a little bull. Hungry. He is hungry. You're a smart girl. Such a pretty color. Is that Joe? Say hey Joe. The calf is very healthy and um, looks like a really good calf. This is the 54 cow of the four Texas cows that I have over here. Um, this is 11 and then we've got what I call no tag, well shouldn't have a tag. And then we have the 32 cow, um, the boss cow. I think boss cow is next. She is uh, definitely the biggest and um, she's showing signs of having her calf here at the Ponderosa. Um, but uh, I just love this time of year because this is one of those things that's all that hard work pays off. Now, here's the interesting part about those Texas cows and like the 54 cow here is they were bred. If you remember, I had a bull here for a little while when I picked up the Texas 16. You can go back and watch some of the footage. The Texas 16 that I brought in, there was a big pretty bull um, there. You can hear Brooks chatting inside the truck. There was a big pretty bull that came with that group he was about five years old or so um and i didn't really need him i i did keep a lot of the calves and the <clears throat> mama cows if you remember so what that means is that calf 
is out of that bull. And he was a very pretty bull, and I hate I hated to get rid of him, but um, we just didn't need him because we obviously had Big Joe, and of course we have Dunbar at the original place. But um, so what that means is that is really good uh, because the baby is not out of Big Joe and not out of Dunbar. Um, we've got some diversity here, and so because he was a pretty bull, you never know what you're going to get um, as far as the offspring. And I'm pretty sure that is a bull. So we've got some different genetics here, which is, is what I'm interested in and excited to do part of raising these awesome animals. So um, that is a good thing. If, if it all works out, I think three out of the four Texas cows here um, will have babies. And uh, so we still have no tag. And then we have the 32 boss cow left. Um, there's one cow here, um, her number is 11. I don't think she'll have a calf. She doesn't look pregnant to me anyways. She may be late, but um, so we are excited about that. So a three out of the four Texas cows should be out of that bull. And that creates a diverse herd, which is what we want. And uh, if, if you notice, that's kind of what we're doing here um, with the Dakota pure calves. We've got the Wolverine calves and then a mixture of some others as well. Like I said, when I showed up, I flew the drone out here actually because that's the way I've been looking to see. It's a quick way instead of actually driving out in the pasture. Plus, we had a, a lot of rain. I don't want to drive out in the pasture. So I flew the drone up that morning because I saw something suspicious. I only saw eight of them together and one missing. And so that is always a good sign is when a mama cow is missing. They'll take, they'll go somewhere else. They'll separate themselves from the herd and they'll have their baby. She must have had her early that morning. I was flying the drone up about 9.30ish, about somewhere in there. There she was. And she was actually, um, the afterbirth was still hanging from her. As you can see, I'm going to show that to you. And she was still eating the afterbirth. And she was also still licking the calf up. So just missed it. Maybe someday I'll actually catch a live birth and uh, that would be amazing to do for you guys so but with that being said i want to show you the footage that i have i got a lot of great footage of it and i just wanted to share it with you so here it is a mama cow uh, eating right after birth after giving birth to that red dog right there
Now, how cool is that? What uh, just some awesome, awesome footage that I was able to get, and it's all about timing. You can see how close I was to actually seeing the lab birth, but um, just an amazing experience. And uh, if you're a bison follower, and uh, or if you're a bison rancher or cattle producer, you know how uh, how neat of an experience that is, and how just Mother Nature works, and um, the mama eating the afterbirth, and all that. It's just a uh, it's pretty neat to see all that and uh, right here on at the new property to see all that kind of uh, in a live situation right there so but uh also how cool was it when i saw the 32 cow she was doing the roll she was doing a waller over by the pond and i'm scanning the drone and in the background there's uh um, some canadian geese uh babies too as well so baby season is here and uh that's uh just another cool little feature it's part of this place and uh, it is a beautiful property and we're lucky to have it and we're working hard for it and to take care of it but uh very exciting time and now the next is i we 32 cows getting pretty close but also i think i've got i've got two at the um dunbar place at mom and kevin's place that are getting very close as well i saw them the day and i checked on them so big guys want some cubes here i'm going to give him some cubes and get him taken care of so we will be going to the dunbar place very soon to check on them and what i'm going to do there is i'm going to be able to explain to you more about he's chasing me around um i'll be able to explain to you guys more on whose babies are whose um whenever i go over there and hopefully the next time that you see me over there we will have some red dogs we'll see um so far early may just like we had last year hopefully have them last year they had a bunch of them in may boom 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 pretty quick like the second week in may so hopefully that happens again the red dog came up a little closer to me so it is baby season all around should have baby deer baby geese baby bison it's all good stuff so just exciting Anyways, thank you guys for watching us, and we will see you next time. We'll see you guys soon.